15. Three pointer on the way is good by Jordan Howard. And Jordan with his third three of the game, he is now the all time three point leader in Southland Conference history. That was number 332. That's the one thing, the uh, lighting in here is not particularly good. Campbell will try a three from the right wing and knocks it down. DeAndre Jones, double team, gets it to Unruh. Koval, straightaway three-pointer on the way and good! And the Bears knock down their first two shots on the floor. They get it into Unruh, now it's a DJ. Top of the key, picks up his dribble to Kamba, driving off the glass and good! Jones off a high screen, will drive right side. Kicks, Koval, now extra pass. Unruh left wing three on the way, is good! Bears catching fire early on here. Montessier's got it up to Howard. Howard in transition, high off the glass, no good. Tipped over to Parnell. Three-pointer on the way by Montessier is good. And Matthew Montessier for the second straight game knocks down a three. Drive on the baseline, shot up against Colbell, blocked. Beautiful swat out of there as the take by T.J. Atwood denied as he finally enters the game. Probably wishes he was still on the bench. Colbell left alone underneath, shot up, and the foul. Bucket good. And it was Harrison reacting late. Bears trying to stay in the game on the defensive end. Widenar open for three from the corner is good. Aaron Widenar knocks down a three. Jordan Howard pull up, three-pointer on the way, and knocks it down. Jordan Howard in the face of Bosha, who closed out quickly, but not quickly enough. Koval, open three, right wing is good. And they said he stepped on the line, so he barely missed out on a three-pointer there, but a nice jumper. For Hayden Koval, we'll give it up. DeAndre Jones, crossover against Garth. Driving, shooting, off the glass, and good. DJ with a tough shot. Fading and falling and knocks it down. 36 up. And has it top of the key. Jordan goes quickly left hand. Pull up jumper. And that's good. Jordan Howard dropped it down as the defender went flying. Back from the half. Bears with the ball first. They're going left to right on your radio dial. Camba goes right to work. Right around a frustrated Weissbrod. And Camba ties things up. Jordan Howard with it. He's still... Yet to get going. Driving in against Noel to the free throw line. Cut off. Backs it out. Now takes it left side. Pull up jumper. Good. Jordan Howard. That was a hard working jump shot there. And the Bears come out 4-0 to start the second half. Cutting through. Goes the freshman DJ. Got his first start. Cutting. Camba. Shot up and good. Nice find by Unruh and a great bucket by Camba with a little bit of contact. 47-45. Backdoor cut by Howard. Left all alone. Layup. Good. And Jordan looked around as if to say... Is somebody going to come in here and try to block this? There was nobody home. 49-47, 14-30 to go. DeAndre Jones, three on the other end. That's good! And the Bears are back in front. 51-50, Lamar leads it. 13-22, turnover on the other end. DeAndre Jones, a three on two. Howard, scoop shot off the glass. Yes, gets it to go. That was not easy as Howard threw it up there on the dead rim and then fell through. And Howard has a chance to run here. A little two on two. Step up, pull up. Buckets. Jordan Howard is warming up. And the Bears lead by four. 59-55 with 10.57 to play. Jones to Howard. Free throw line jumper on the way. Gets the roll. I told you. He's got the red circle. He's hot, baby. 63-60. 8.28 to play. Bosch is the only one that's had any success. Howard wants it quickly. Three-pointer left wing on the way. That's good. Jordan Howard in full effect. 68-63, 7-14. And when he's calling for it like that, you know he's feeling it. 22 points and his second three-pointer of the game. And now he is one away from setting a new Southland Conference mark. He has tied the all-time record set by Desmond Mallett of McNeese State with 331. Whips it to Unruh right wing. He'll drive by Frenchwood, spinning in the lane. Shot up, gets it to go. Unruh got it to hit on the back of the rim and fall through. Got a roll, got to get back. Garth quickly the other way. 11 on the shot clock, 2.30 to play. A lot of contact underneath as Unruh gets knocked to the floor. He and uh, Frenchwood really going at it. Koval will try three, splashes it through. A big bucket by the seven-footer from the right wing. Bears go up by three, 2.22 to go, 75-72. And they are locked into this one. Camba, backdoor cut. Beat Weiss brought to the hole for the layup. Left-hand layup by Matthew Camba, 79-78. The officials are telling the coaching staff of the Cardinals to get back inside their box. Inbound to Jordan Howard. Howard working against Bosha. Fader bricked it. Rebound Jones at the buzzer, no good. And they're going to call a foul on the floor against... The Cardinals, they foul Koval on the rebound attempt. There's one-tenth of a second left. I thought the buzzer had sounded, but one-tenth of a second left. They're saying Koval was fouled on the rebound. 
What a, what a battle here today. These two teams have both left it all out here. I mean, it's been really fun to watch, and nobody's given an inch. So Hayden Koval with the biggest free throws of his freshman year because this would seal the game if he could make them both. If he makes one, we're probably going to overtime. If he misses them both, I think you know the outcome. Boom, makes the first one. All right, second one should seal the game. You remember the Bears beat Sam Houston State in the conference opener last year at the free throw line with a freshman, Aaron Widener at the line. He made three. Cobal second. Short. We're going to overtime. Oh, boy. Short-armed it. But you know what? He made the one they had to have, and we are going to play an extra five minutes, and why not? Right wing on room. 4.16 to go. Backdoor cut. Camba with a slam. Matthew Camba with a hammer to tie it at 82. And another beautiful backdoor cut. Weisbrod now has 30 in the game. Campbell with 15. Three-pointer on the way is good by Jordan Howard. And Jordan with his third three of the game. He is now the all-time three-point leader in Southland Conference history. That was number 332. 10. Gets a screen. Dribbles left, gets a double team. Gives it up to Koval. Five seconds. Widenauer, three on the way. He missed it. Princewood at the buzzer. No. Boy, he caught some rim, though. How about double overtime? Why not? you got to be kidding me. What a game. Unbelievable performance today by these teams. How much fun is this? Six points apiece in overtime. Let's do it again. 27 for Howard. 34 for Weisbrod. Three-pointer on the way from Unruh is good to start the second overtime. 4.04 to go. DeAndre drives by a defender all the way in off the glass shot. Good! And the foul! What a play by the freshman DeAndre Jones, and he extends the lead to three with a free throw upcoming. There has been one triple double in school history by some guy named Scotty Pippen. Never heard of him. Amazing. 30 10 and 10 in that game for Scotty. Came back against Hendricks in 1987. Drive, shot no good, tip is good! Matthew Mondesir snuck in there and tipped it up and in. 93-89, 95-89, excuse me, with 2.57 left. Weisbrod guarding him. Mondi to DeAndre Jones. Bears doing a good job running some clock here with a four-point lead. DeAndre Jones, he'll pull up for three. That's huge, he made it! DeAndre Jones with a giant three! And the Bears are up by seven with 1.25 to play. Got himself in trouble. Kicks it out to Mondesir. Good save by Matthew. Driving in all the way. Layup off the glass is good. Matthew Mondesir, a huge bucket. And another freshman steps up. Nine-point game. 30 seconds left. Frenchwood. They need a three quickly. Right side, Garth. He'll drive. Shot up in the lane. No good. Tapped into the air. Unruh with the rebound. And the Bears are going to win it. Bears by nine. 21 seconds left. Double overtime. A triple-double. A Southland Conference three-point record, and what a game today in Beaumont, Texas, and what a win for the Bears. Wow. Great performance by both teams. What a hard-fought game. And this will be one to remember for a long time. Happy birthday, Jordan Howard. That's the way to do it, big guy. Buckets for the birthday boy, 27 points worth, and a triple-double from his heir apparent. Not too shabby. Your incredible lives are what make Arkansas so special. That's why doing our part to keep you amazing is our mission. By providing the most skilled doctors and nurses to heal you from sickness or injury and giving comprehensive care to support your recovery, we're your guide to health. All so you can keep on giving, keep on inspiring, and keep on amazing. For the care that keeps you amazing, visit baptist-health.com. Across divisions, sports, championships, and schools for nearly half a million student athletes. College sports create lifelong opportunity, and that starts with education. We've raised the academic bar, so more are earning degrees, creating healthier campuses by working with the nation's brightest minds, and making sure more have the chance to succeed and are supported on their journey. But beyond the numbers, it's about opportunity, and we're working to provide it for every student athlete. Our team, uh, just so you'll know, I, I think uh, if we'll continue to work on the defensive end, and we're getting better. We, we really are getting better at, at that. Um, if we do that, we have a chance of, of making a, a, a deep run in the, uh, in this, with this conference and in the conference tournament. And listen, my goal is this. I want to be playing really good basketball the end of February. That's what I want. Uh, I want to play well now, and we're building toward that. 
Uh, but we want, we want to get a chance uh, to, to really, really be making a run that last couple of weeks of the season leading into the tournament. That's our goal. Our goal is to go to the NCAA tournament. That's the bottom line. I'd love to win the Southland. I want to go to the NCAA tournament. Because you go, you go to that, and um, I think that's a, a, a big accomplishment. You get a chance to, to play on the biggest stage. And I want these guys to experience that. There's nothing like it. And, and if we get to go, and you all, I will tell you, wherever we're playing, you need to load up and go. There, there's just something about the NCAA tournament that you walk in the building, and it's a buzz that you, you just like, man, there's something electric here, something different. And I always, I always think this. When you break through and do that, your team will never be the same. It'll never be the same. The expectations will be to be there every year. This is why our football teams get. Those kids know what they're working for. They know exactly. When they, when they start in, in the end of July, first of all, they know what they're working for. They're working for that, that playoff feeling. And that's what we have to get to. And right now, there's hardly anyone on our staff besides me, Coach Boone, that have, have felt that. So when we try to paint that picture, we're just some old dudes trying to you know, motivate. And, and they don't get what we're trying to do. But they're getting closer. Most coachable kids I've ever been around, love being around them, as Steve said, to travel with them. Our bus driver the other day, uh, I got on the bus first. Uh, we'd come out of practice, and, and he says, Coach, I want to tell you something. He said, I've driven a lot of teams. And he said, I'm not saying this because you all are clients. He said, I've never been around a, guy, a bunch of guys that are so polite. He said, every time they get off the bus, they thank me for driving them. I said, that's just who they are. That's the kind of people they are. And I'm proud of that. I know that doesn't get highlights, that doesn't get printed, and all that stuff. But we, we, we love that as a team. We talk about family. I don't know about your family. I try to make my daughter say thank you and please and yes, ma'am, yes, sir. And, uh, and, and I'm proud when people walk up and say, your daughters are really nice. Well, I love it when they say that about my sons, too, which I got 16 of those. So anyway, that's a little bit about us Incarnate Word Wednesday night. I hope you all will come and, and watch us. And then we got another tough road trip, but at least we're getting four of these out of the way pretty quick and uh, get a chance to spend a little more time at home second half of the, of the year. Here I am back at UCA. This is where I got my start. Acting in plays, studying literature, writing scripts. Campus has grown so much in the last few years and the technology is incredible. UCA is where I learned the craft of storytelling and got ready for a career in New York and LA. That's how I got here. Go here and go anywhere. Go UCA. What does it mean to be Southland strong? It's not just big wins. It's success in the classroom and being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are South and Strong.
At UCA, students come in with the second highest ACT and GPA in the state and leave with a career that's second to none. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere. At UCA, we have the second highest on-campus undergraduate enrollment in the state for a reason. Lots of reasons, actually. The University of Central Arkansas. Go here and go anywhere.